hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we've got five quick projects that you can make with the longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver. Well, the good folks at Longer have sent me out the Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver to test and play around with, and I thought it would be a great opportunity here on the show today to show you guys five easy projects that you can make with the Longer Ray 5 20 watt. These are not tutorials on how to make the projects, guys. They are demonstrations and testing of the laser for my purposes but there will be tutorials on them further down the road on the program. But without further ado, let's head over to the bench and get started on our laser projects. Guys, the following clips do include footage of the laser in action, which includes flashing lights. So if you are someone who is affected by that sort of thing, please do whatever it takes to protect yourself. Now the first project I'd like to try out here today is one that I'm going to have a full tutorial for coming up on the show and that is Disney autograph ornaments. Now if you have anyone that is traveling to Disney, doesn't matter the park, they like to get autographs of the characters and they usually get them in an autograph book but if you have a laser engraver this is a fantastic opportunity to take those autographs to the next step. So what we're doing here is we are basically cutting the parts to this ornament and then gluing the three of them together. And at that point, you end up taking the ornament to the park, having the character sign it, and then the back can get the character engraved on the ornament. Now, in this example here, I am not showing any Disney characters because, of course, Disney is vicious when it comes to protecting their images. And why wouldn't they be? They, they own them. It's their bread and butter. So for this demonstration, we're doing something a little generic, a free coloring page off the Internet. But this goes to show here in this example exactly how well the longer Ray 520 watt cuts, how cleanly it cuts, how well everything fits together, the accuracy, and of course the crisp, clean image that it engraves on the ornament. Guys, it's a fantastic system that worked very well for this application. And if you know anyone that is going to Disney, this might be an idea that you want to plug to them. If not, how about just regular ornaments as it is? Custom made wooden ornaments. You don't have to have a tree full of them, just one or two. You could make a custom one for each family member with their name on it. Maybe a picture of something that really uh, screams them because that's what they like and you can go from there but either way guys custom ornaments are a fantastic way to utilize your laser and the longer ray 520 watt has plenty of power to do exactly that well another fantastic project that you can make at home with your laser engraver and i've done a full tutorial on this on the show before is making custom rubber stamps. Guys, the price of custom rubber stamps, trying to order a custom rubber stamp, the cost is astronomical. When you really look at what it costs for the materials and what it costs in order to make one of these, the price that they charge to make a custom rubber stamp is through the roof. It is absolutely crazy. But with one little inexpensive sheet of rubber stamp rubber and a little bit of time on light burn or whatever software you're using, you can create custom rubber stamps. Now, in this case, I'm just making a simple stamp of my granddaughter's name so that she can stamp her name on things. And I'm making multiple passes. I don't want to burn it too deep too quickly. But the stamp turns out incredible. The longer Ray 5 really did a great job. I, I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. I was confident in the power from the previous burnings and engravings that I've done, but I wasn't sure how it was going to react to the rubber material. 
I was pleasantly surprised with how well it worked and the stamp turned out amazing. Guys, if you want the tutorial on how to make these rubber stamps, I'm going to put it down below in the uh, comment section, a link to the tutorial. If you just want to finagle it and try it out on your own, just remember that anything that you want to stamp, you have to reverse the image. And if your image includes any kind of letters or numbers, you really have to reverse those and do them in negative. Otherwise, you don't end up with a stamp. Um, you end up with everything reversed and looking kind of strange. So make sure that you reverse your image and do it in the negative in order to be able to get a stamp that works properly. You are not engraving the image, you are engraving everything around it to have the image uh, protrude from your rubber to give the stamp the ability to place that image down onto the paper. But either way, uh, we fired this through the longer ray five. The results were spectacular. The stamps were spectacular. It's just a great project for you to try out with your engraver. At the end of the 2023 season, I did a show on making a retro pencil box. And in the lid of that, I laser engraved some rulers. And you guys had asked for a tutorial on how to do those rulers on Lightburn. And that is coming up on the channel as well. But we did a little bit of a test job here, and when I did that tutorial, I actually used the longer ray 520 watt, and it worked fantastic. The cutting was clean, the engravings were clean. Um, everything worked so well with the ray 520 watt. It was a joy to cut these things on this laser. It was almost effortless. I really like how clean the engravings came out and the cuttings are crisp and clean. The air assist on the Ray 5, while mine right now is a little bit of a makeshift system uh, that I've kind of pieced together from an old air pump and some rubber tubing and some four millimeter uh, tubing as well, I've pieced it together to work with the longer Ray 5, but the whole system of the air coming into that nozzle, the way that it directs the air in your engraving to cool things down to prevent the charring really provides a fantastic engraving that is so clean with as little charring as possible. So if you're looking for a quick, easy project, uh, even for your business, doing little six inch rulers with your business name and website on it, it's a great thing to hand out at craft shows or bazaars or that sort of thing. Get the word out there, get your business out there. The longer Ray 520 watt can pump these things out like there's no tomorrow. Put in a 12 by 12 sheet of eighth inch plywood and let the machine do its job. It is crazy how well it does it and does it quickly. So. There you go, there's another project for you to do would be rulers. And like I said, the tutorial, the full tutorial, is coming up on an upcoming Tuesday episode of the program. One of the things I like to engrave is slate coasters. You can get these from your local craft store in sets of four, you can buy them in bulk, etc, etc. Guys, these are a fantastic gift idea and with a 20 watt laser, you are basically unlimited with the options of what you can do. And the longer Ray 520 watt has such a minute focus point that you can get some really great details. So let me fire this up. I already have some coaster files that I engrave. Let me fire up the longer Ray 5. I'll fire up the air assist because I don't want this dust from the slate coaster getting up inside the nozzle. It'll smoke the lens and then you'll end up engraving on the lens. You don't want that. So that's one of the benefits of the um, air assist actually. But let me fire this up. We're gonna test this out. I've already focused to the height of this coaster. Let's get it engraved and see how it looks. And we'll just take this out of here. Guys, there's always stone dust on these. Whenever you engrave them, you have to clean them up with a brush. I actually like to do it under running water from the tap, but there we go. We'll just clean it up. Guys, oh my goodness. Color me impressed. 
That looks absolutely gorgeous. The detail here in the strings, look at how nice and clean and crisp that looks. This is actually, you can feel the engraving with your fingernails. It's not just marring it, it's actually engraving it. That is a gorgeous, clean, uh, amazing looking engraving. That just looks fantastic. So if you have someone on your gift list that you feel could use a set of coasters, what a great use for the longer Ray 520 watt. One of the easiest things that you can do, guys, on your laser and the 20 watt Ray 5 really excels at it, is making custom boxes. And if you visit boxes.py here, I'll post the link to it in the description of the video, you can choose what it is that you want to do. And let me show you how easy this is. So I want to choose here a sliding drawer box. So we're going to click on this. There we go. And all you need to do, here's the picture of the box of what it's going to look like when it's done. You need to just plug in your parameters here. So for my X or my width, I want to go 45 millimeters. This is all in metric, guys. For my Y, I want to do 50. This is a small box. And for my inner height, I want to do 70. Now you may note here that it says inner height in millimeters unless the outside is selected. I don't want that, I want the inner dimension. So I'm gonna unclick this outside. We will leave the play as 0 0.015 millimeters. We need to input the thickness of our material. And I've measured mine and mine is in fact three millimeters thick. So we're fine here. Now this is where the easy part comes in. This is it. We have done everything here that we need to do. The rest you can pretty much leave. The only thing that you want to do at this point is you want to choose your format. Now, SVG or whatever your laser software will accept, but if you're using Lightburn, click the drop down and if we look right up here, look at this, Lightburn 2. Click that and then we will click generate just like that and shoo, look at that right down into my box um, from there I can drag that into my light burn and you end up with this you can change your parameters I know that the 20 watt likes to cut at 5 millimeters per second and 80 for the power that's one of the best I found for this size of ply, but everything here is laid out for you. These are all the parts and these sections here, they're all labeled, but they're labeled in a tool function. So they won't actually print, but you can see them on here and you can tell which piece is which. So guys, we are going to fire up the uh, longer Ray 520 watt. We are going to cut this box and glue it together and I will show you the final results as to how um, our laser did with this cutting and the accuracy, the fit. This is all finger joints, so we'll see what kind of accuracy the longer Ray 520 watt has because I have done these on some laser engravers and the accuracy has not been up to snuff. And it doesn't take long to get these boxes put together. Um, a little bit of wood glue holds it nicely. And guys, look at that. The tolerances here are spectacular. Very tight joinery. Um, you get the contrast with the burn and the uh, light of the wood. The boxes look great. Custom boxes for anything you want. Just another great little project. If you have a laser engraver, um, utilize it for all it's worth, guys. This one's awesome. And there you have it. Five quick projects that you can make with the longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver. Guys, as I said in last week's show, I have quite a bit of experience with quite a lot of different machines. So it takes quite a bit to impress me. Um, Normally a 20 watt laser is a 20 watt laser or there's something about it I don't like or I need I wish they changed something but with the longer Ray 520 watt 
really, there's not much there that I would change. The focusing is easy, the framing is easy, the connection is easy, the options of how you can connect it are quite a few, which makes it very versatile. And that built-in screen in the front makes it even better. Let's just say that you wanted to do those coasters at, say, like um, a little trade show or maybe a church bazaar and you brought your laser. You wouldn't need to necessarily have your computer hooked up because you could save that coaster file as a G-code, place it on the micro SD card and just pump it out whenever you run out. Or if you didn't want to keep stock, have your examples. With, if they buy your samples, you pump out another one. It's all in the G code and it's all on that micro SD card, which makes it instantly accessible and very easy to pump out another coaster to replace it. So you don't need to keep extra stock that way. It's, it's a very impressive machine. And uh, I'm not just saying that because Longer provided me with the machine to use here on the show. I'm saying it because I like what the machine does. I like the results. I like the way that the air assist funnels down and, and gives a nice clean burn. I like the accuracy. I like the detail that this machine provides. One thing I would change here, um, this machine does not fit in one of my other portable enclosures. So because of that, the shop gets kind of smoky, so it will need its own enclosure. It would fit if it wasn't for that control panel, but that control panel is one of the great features of this laser. So I wouldn't want to necessarily change that. But this one here will probably end up getting its own custom enclosure uh, to be able to vent it to the outside of the shop so that I'm not filling my shop with smoke and having to breathe that in. Uh, you really want to use these in a very well vented area. Regardless, guys, the five projects that I ran through on today's show are five quick ones that you can do with the laser. They're very easily done. Any links that you'll need to be able to produce these here, I will be sure to add to the, to the description. Um, guys, give them a try. You really want to, if you're considering a laser and you're on a budget and you don't want to spend the thousands, you may want to look at the longer Ray 520 watt. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I want to thank Longer for sending me out the Ray 520. Um, I've really enjoyed playing with this. This is, uh, this is an excellent machine, and I thank you very much for your generosity. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We've got a great audience base here on the show, and I'm hoping that you're going to consider becoming a part of that. Guys, I've had a lot of fun today. I hope you've had fun too. I hope you've enjoyed the demonstrations. I hope you enjoyed the projects. I hope you're going to try some of this for yourself and look into the longer Ray 520 watt. The links will be down below. But more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.